in your own words. People say that to you. You know, you know when you hear that a lot in a classroom or in a courtroom, they'll say to you, tell us in your own words. <laughs> Do you have your own words? Gotcha, bitch. Terence Crawford tells the world, how do you rate fighters that you fight? In his words. Straighter, yep, no, not yep. roundhouse right hand. And that's what we've been talking about, the straight shot. It's the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull somebody. Pull back a little bit. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as as long as you're trying to fight the great, you're, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you go to the ground, we're here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. It was the best fight, the best. If you ain't with the moto, just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried, too many come but don't leave. So if you hear, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts. These bitches crying cause they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch, hate that. We the best that bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate? I'ma laugh and keep counting these bands. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link, get the hands. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. So who did Danny Garcia beat at the welterweight division that was worth talking about? Uh, uh, see, that's you. That's you right there. I see this show shit. Smile at that's it. So apparently, beating someone who is worth talking about is what makes your fighter something. Apparently, that that's what that's how you rate a fighter. You rate a fighter by that fighter beating someone who is worth talking about. Not my words. So when you guys start crying and shit and start saying whatever the fuck y'all want to say, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense now. Because I, 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 for the longest time, I would say, listen, man, the names at 147, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Errol Spence, um, Speedy Rashidi Ellis, your Dennis Ugas, Virgil Ortiz, Terrence Crawford. Th those are the names that I used to, Kell Brook, those are the names I used to say. Um, those are the names. And all I would ever get from Crawford fans is backlash. They're constantly moving the goalposts, changing the story up, talking about somebody being undefeated um, or, you know, someone going to the Olympics or something. They always consistently change the story up, consistently moving it around. Um, but when Terrence Crawford did this interview with Gillian Wallow, it, it, it sort of cleared things up for me. The man said, who did Danny Garcia beat who was worth talking about? Um, so his criteria, his criteria of a fighter being a good fighter is if they are worth talking about, if they're worth talking about. So then... Jeff Horn was only worth talking about because he beat Manny Pacquiao in what people called a robbery. They called it a robbery. It's so fucking crazy that they call that a robbery. What, whatever. Um, I have no idea why anybody was talking about Jose Benavidez because I don't remember anyone talking about Jose Benavidez. I remember no one talking about that man. So if... So are you telling me that 
Jose Benavidez was somebody because his his brother is David. Is that that was that is that is that why Jose Ben Jose Benavidez is good because his brother is David? Okay, Amir Khan. Why so? Um, why is Amir Khan worth being talked about? Um, because Amir Khan got knocked out by. Danny Garcia, he got knocked out by Canelo Alvarez. He got knocked out by everybody that beat him. He was knocked out. I mean, why is Amir Khan? Why is Amir Khan worth talking about? Because because Sean Porter got losses, all of his losses to top guys, you know, like Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, Kell Brook. You know, he got losses to them, but. He didn't get knocked out by everybody. Amir Khan got knocked out by everybody. I mean, Keith Thurman got a loss, but his loss was to Manny Pacquiao. He didn't get stopped. So, so why what is Amir Khan talked about? Because because again, y'all heard the man's words. Who did Danny Garcia beat who was worth talking about? So that worth talking about. Is how you is how he rates fighters that worth talking about the worth talking about piece. So again, Jeff Horn was worth talking about because he beat Pacquiao. Jose Benavidez was worth talking about because his brother is David. Amir Khan is worth being talked about because he was knocked out by Danny Garcia. He was knocked out by uh, Canelo Alvarez and he was beat up and he was beat up um, by several other fighters. Um. Egus Fleegus Kavalowskis Green Beans Greases is worth talking about because he got a draw with Ray Robinson. Is that why he's worth talking about? Because he got a draw with Ray Robinson. Kell Brook is worth talking about because Errol Spence stopped him. Sean Porter is worth talking about because Errol Spence beat him and he lost to Kell Brook. David Avenesian is worth talking about for what reason? This is not my criteria, not my criteria. This is his criteria. Pauli Mahanaji is uh, known because he says, you know, again, who did he beat? Worth talking about. Pauli Mahanaji is worth talking about. He's a racist piece of shit. Pauli Mahanaji is out this motherfucker. He fought Sean Porter, got mauled, fought. Uh, Adrian Broner and Adrian Broner is, you know, I took his bitch, I took his, his belt and his bitch, you know, he's known, he's worth talking about. Clearly worth talking about. More worth talking about than Jose Benavidez. David Abenesian, that's two fighters right there. At Green Beans, that's three fighters right there. Pauli Malignaggi is more worth talking about than Benavidez, Green Beans, and David Abenesian. Robert Guerrero. Robert Guerrero fought Floyd Mayweather. It's worth talking about. He fought Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Robert Guerrero is more uh, known than Jeff Horn. He's more talked about than Jose Benavidez without question. Without question. Uh, Robert Guerrero is probably more worth talking about than David Avenesian. Sammy, Var Sammy Vargas. Sammy Vargas fought Errol Spence. It's worth talking about. Fought Amir Khan too, if I'm not mistaken. It's worth talking about. Keith Thurman is clearly worth talking about. But again, he didn't beat Keith Thurman. So he said, who did he beat? Worth talking about. Brandon Rios. Fought Manny Pacquiao. Fought Sambo Bradley. He's worth talking about. He's worth talking about, bro. Worth talking about. Brandon Rios is more worth talking about than Jose Benavidez. More worth talking about than Green Beans. More worth talking about than David Ambrosia. Adrian Granados. Adrian Granados fought a bunch of people. I, I got it. Adrian Granados is not the biggest name, but he's worth talking about. Is he as worth talking about as Jeff Horn? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. But Adrian Granados is more worth talking about than Jose Benavides. Adrian Granados is more worth talking about than Green Beans. Ivan Redcash. Ivan Redcash fought some motherfuckers. Is, is Ivan Redcash more worth talking about than Sean Porter, Kell Brook, or Jeff Horn? No. More worth talking about than Amir Khan? No. But he's more worth talking about than Green Beans and David Abenesian. 
So if we're talking about who is more, who did Danny Garcia beat? Who did any fighter beat? Because again, Terrence Crawford's criteria is who did you beat worth talking about? The only reason why anybody talked about Jose Benavidez is because Terrence Crawford fought him. If Terrence didn't fight him, nobody would be talking about Jose Benavidez at all. They would continually say David Benavidez. They'd be like, damn, Terrence Crawford fought David Benavidez? When the hell did David Benavidez fight at 135 or 140? I didn't remember that shit. Motherfuckers didn't even know David Benavidez had an older brother. <laughs> Nobody would talk about green beans at all. No one would talk about green beans. No one. No one would bring them up. They didn't even care that they had a draw with Ray Robinson that was supposed to be for the mandatory to Terrence Crawford. They didn't even care. No one talked about this man so much that there was no uproar. That he got a draw with Ray Robinson and still became the mandatory. The winner of Green Beans and Ray Robinson was supposed to be the mandatory, but they got a draw and Green Beans was still the mandatory. And no one cared. That's how much he was worthless to talk about. Worthless. Again, you want to bring up Kelbrook, 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 but you guys, Terrence Crawford fans, you guys are the ones that shit on Kelbrook and say Kelbrook ain't nothing. So the only reason why Kelbrook was worth talking about is because Errol Spence beat him and Golovkin beat him at a whole different weight class. That is the only reason why Kelbrook was worth talking about. Y'all wasn't talking about Kelbrook. Y'all were spending your time shitting on Kelbrook because he had a broken eye. That's what you're doing. Sean Porter. I think Sean Porter is the goods or was the goods, but you guys didn't think Sean Porter was the goods. You guys said Sean Porter is an elite. You guys said Sean Porter ain't shit. You guys said Sean Porter, he ain't this and he ain't that. Sean, you did. You guys said this. So how can you now say that Sean Porter is worth talking about when you said he wasn't shit, but it's fine. To me, Sean Porter is worth talking about. To me, David Ambrosia is not. At all. Not even remotely close. Not even remotely close. And he was so worthless that the fight only did 5,000 pay-per-view buys. That's it. And it was on YouTube the following day for free. <laughs> He's so worthless that they literally put, you still, you can't find, bro, the motherfucking, uh, uh, um, Devin Haney versus Lomachenko fight is still the full, full fights. It probably still isn't free. I, I was just looking at the, the full fight isn't free. The full fight, they just show clips. But yet you can watch David Ambrosia versus Budrick the very following day. So it was on pay-per-view on Saturday and it was uploaded for free for anybody to watch. Uploaded by the creators, by BLK. You can watch it the following day. He was that irrelevant. But yet here we are talking about, well, you know, who did Danny Garcia be who was worth talking about? Trying to discredit him, trying to discredit it. This is so fucking crazy because the only guy, let's just say, we want to give the, uh, uh, Jose Benavidez credit for fighting Terrence Crawford. Well, Danny Garcia fought him too. I understand it wasn't that one, uh, 147, but he still fought him. That was his last fight, if I'm not mistaken, it was Jose Benavidez. How you guys maneuver and move the goalposts when it was this man's words, his criteria. So if, if who did you beat who was worth talking about? then the reality is the only people who was worth talking about that this man beat was Sean Porter and Kell Brook. Not, and not even Kell Brook, it was just Sean Porter. Not even Sean Porter, because you said Sean Porter ain't shit. By this man's very own words, Sean Porter didn't, uh, who did Sean Porter beat? Uh, who did Sean Porter beat for this? That, that's his words. So if it's who did Danny Garcia beat and who did Sean Porter beat, well, then the only person that you can say Terrence Crawford beat, the only one, is Jeff Horn. That's it. That's it, bro. Sean Porter, Kel, uh, 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 you can't say Jose Benavidez because he didn't fight anybody. 
Who did Amir Khan beat at 147? <laughs> Phil LaGreco? Who, who did he beat? At, who did Green Beans beat at 147? Who did Kel Brook beat at 147? You can't say Sean Porter because they said Sean Porter ain't nothing and Errol Spence beat Kel Brook. Matter of fact, Errol Spence beat them both. So if Sean Porter didn't beat anybody, then how is Kel Brook beating Sean Porter? How does that make Sean Porter something? So by saying, who did Danny Garcia beat that's worth talking about? And who did Sean Porter beat that's worth talking about? Then what you're saying is, you just removed everybody from your resume. The only person that you beat is Jeff Horn. That's the only person you beat. That's it. You didn't beat anybody else, bro. You didn't beat no one else. No one. <laughs> so if you want to discredit Danny Garcia's entire welterweight resume by saying that Paulie Malnagy didn't beat nobody, Robert Guerrero didn't beat nobody, Vargas didn't beat nobody, Brandon Rios, he didn't beat nobody, Adrian Ganados and Ivan Redcash, they didn't beat nobody. That's fine. If you want to disregard us, then the, the only fight that you can say that Terrence Crawford beat, the only person, was Jeff Horn. That's it. Jose Benavidez didn't fight anybody. He didn't beat anybody. Amir Khan didn't beat anybody. He got knocked out by everybody. Green Beans didn't fight or beat no one. He had a draw, a fucking draw with Ray Robinson. Kell Brook lost to Errol Spence. Sean Porter wasn't anybody by this man's own words. Sean Porter didn't beat anybody by his words. So if Sean Porter didn't beat anybody, then Sean Porter wasn't nobody. So Kell Brook beating Sean, Sean Porter is like saying Kell Brook didn't beat nobody. That's what you're saying. Kell Brook didn't beat nobody because Sean Porter was a nobody. He didn't beat nobody. So then Kell Brook didn't beat nobody. So Errol Spence, so then you guys are justified by saying when Errol Spence beat Kell Brook, Kell Brook was a nobody. You're justified now. So what you're saying is the only person, the only person that, Ter that, that either one of these guys, Terrence Crawford or Danny Garcia beat, the only one was Jeff Horn. So Jeff Horn was the only fighter worth talking about because he beat Manny Pacquiao. Wow. This man just discredited his entire welterweight resume, his, his, his entire welterweight, welterweight resume, and you guys are A-OK -okay with it because it leaves him one up over Danny Garcia and Sean Porter. It leaves him one up because Sean Porter didn't beat nobody. Danny Garcia didn't beat nobody, but he beat Jeff Horn. Who beat Pacquiao? So then the conversation that we should be having is whose resume is better, welterweight resume is better between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford because Errol Spence stopped the man that retired Manny Pacquiao. Terrence Crawford stopped the man that got a robbery draw, I mean a, a gift, a robbery or a gift against Pacquiao. Dude, those ain't my words, those are y'all words. Yeah, yeah, that's y'all words. Manny Pacquiao really are. He really beat Jeff Horn, to be honest. Manny Pacquiao, he really beat Jeff Horn. I don't see nobody running around here telling me how badly Jeff Horn beat Manny Pacquiao up. How badly Manny Pacquiao's face looked after that. Look, no, it was Jeff Horn's face that was fucked up. It was Jeff Horn who was about to get stopped in the ninth. Yeah, that, that fight was supposed to be stopped in the ninth. It was Jeff Horn's face that was begging for that fight to continue. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was Jeff Horn. So if you want to compare the victories be of, of Pacquiao, because that's what we're doing to try to figure out who got a better resume, because, you know, Errol didn't fight nobody and, and, and ain't fight nobody. So I don't know why y'all talking about Errol Spence didn't fight nobody. That's fine. Danny Garcia ain't shit. Sean Porter ain't nobody. That's fine. So then we remove Danny Garcia and remove Sean Porter. No problem. So then the only fight, the only fights that matter to determine who fought the better competition is your Dennis Ugas and Jeff Horn. That's it. Well, well, Jeff Horn was undefeated. Your Dennis Ugas had losses. That's fine. Ugas retired Pacquiao. Bust his face up, had him eaten out of straw. Jeff Horn was almost stopped in the ninth. His face was lumped up. It was beat up. It was blood everywhere. Manny Pacquiao beat the shit out of that man. So, it's up to y'all to figure that shit out. I got Ugas, the guy that beat uh, both Pacquiao and Terrence Crawford. 
I got I got Ugas. You have Jeff, y'all can say Jeff Horn, but Jeff Horn was undefeated. Undefeated against who? Who the fuck did he beat? Who did he beat? The only person he beat was Pacquiao, which most people say was a robbery. But we don't want to talk about that though, right? Oh, Lomachenko Devianney was robbery, Lomachenko Devianney. But y'all don't want to talk about the robbery at Pacquiao. Jeff Horn, it's all good. It's all good. The bottom line is if you come down to one fighter, Manny Pacquiao, I will take your Dennis Ugas who retired that man and beat Terrence Crawford in the amateurs over a Jeff Horn who had a gift decision. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take Ugas. I mean, but again, these ain't my words. These are Terrence Crawford's words. Deal with it. BFTB, shout to the mighty, mighty LDBC, and I'm out.